Hey everybody, welcome back to Left Paw Gaming. Today we've got some more of my walkthrough footage of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Last video was the assault on Costo Castle where we finally got to Rodri. This video is the shocking and very twisted end to the Book of Dragons story arc. Let's jump in. I felled the rotting old oak. He's not dead. No. I have something else planned. Oh god. Spectacle, remember? Just oh god. finish him quick. He's Good nothing Lord. now but a sad sack of flesh. Kill him and be done with it. Oh no. This will be good. I have something specific in mind. A place and a method. Come. Really? Oh god. Fine. All right. Let's, let's, let's get this just over do with. It. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Seriously? Abel, do not forget that load of rotten flesh called Rotary. Like the assault's over. <laughs> I feel like this is the only story arc so far. That was a sweet dragon statue there. Uh, this is the only going? story arc so An far. Overlook I found while scouting. That has extra a nonsense. View, one fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die with honor. No, oh, no, no. He must die with style. I'm pretty sure that's our horse. Like the horse we whistle for is a black horse. Alright, we'll follow this freak though and find out where he's taking us. I kinda don't like this though. How are you doing, dear king? Stay with us. You must not miss what is coming. Roots. I killed King Ella, King Osbard, King Edmund, and now King Rodri. Who else can claim such a string of victories? How many of those people did you? It is not my place to interfere in this. Do field. things to subvert <laughs> how things were set up to go. No, go this way. That's what happens when you press the follow the road button. And make a turn. Look such a sight. I'm curious to, I I'm I have a lot of anticipation. Belly. Rodri, are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak, but as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease. Good lord. Always knew he was pretty psychotic, but... <laughs> Here we are. We're getting to really see. Bring him close. Bring him close. Where are we going now? Over Those look here. like little houses or something built into the cliff face here. Oh no, this is a little fort. I didn't even notice this. Good lord. up there to the top and keep him breathing finish this quickly Ivar. I have no idea what's going on <laughs> see here a hungry blade now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal the blood eagle Ivar, is this? The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. Oh. Good lord. How's he still alive after this? That is a Norseman. The true essence of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. 
He is doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. Yeah, I don't know, man. And Odin's clearly condoning this. The fog between good and evil grows thick over time. But glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs! And we spread them like wings. Good lord. All of mercy, I can see him now. I have seen him. Oh my god. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. Seriously? It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell. You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. No way. I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. And nothing. You sick, cursed fuck out! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face. The friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny. And become king killer forevermore. You're a psycho, Traitor. dude. Jailbird was like a son to me. Yes, yes. So fight me, wolf kiss, to a glorious death. We really have to fight Ivar now. Because he went crazy. Favor, to fight high above the world. Valhalla awaits. So we gotta pace ourselves here. Pay attention to his attack patterns. Blocks will be useful. He's a madman. Go keep knocking his gold bar down. Stun gauge. Get points for us. There we go. That was a good chunk of damage. When I stab Buria, you win. You cower in the face of sudden drama. Go, keep it up. I was oh my god. <laughs> Apparently I wasn't mashing enough. Younger days, you would be dead by now. Not really boneless. Watch out! Big time blocks. Oh, more big time blocks. Man, how's he just attacking me out of nowhere? He really throw an axe at me? Nice. <laughs> God. Do not shame me, Eivor! Finish me well! Hold a moment, Eivor. Let me ask you something. What do you have to ask? Speak then, or I take your tongue. Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolf Kissed? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? 
Oh, didn't even get a chance to answer. Dang, man, throwing off again? How much do I gotta mash this button? There it is. Now you're done. My long road ends. The Valkyries approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me my weapon. No. No Valhalla for you. None of what you've been doing lately has been honorable. I know Odin Eivor, said this is a true Norseman, but... To hell, with you. Eivor. Killing Jailbird was like the straw for me. Seriously, dude. How do we explain this now to Ivar's brother? Carry the body to Quadford. And we'll say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Uber. Tell him his brother is dead. Good lord. Speak to Dale uh, Darelaf in Quatford's longhouse. Okay, so we fast traveling then. After fast traveling, I took a took a bit of time for traversal, so I may end up cutting a little portion of that there. But we are on our final approach to the Quatford longhouse here to speak with Darelaf and close out King Killer. Oh, Uba's here too. Eivor. Oh my God! Hello. I can't imagine this goes. The dark this goes well at all. Our victory. Bishop, Uba, dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace, I killed him. You. Oh boy. After peace was made. Eva murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rotary to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? <laughs> he... I mean, he died well, I guess. He wanted the fight, He so. died a fighter in all his glory. As he wanted then. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. Hmm. Not really. Oh, good. good Thank real, God he didn't say anything. He lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharad. Say that her husband died by treachery and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have Perfect. you heard from King Chaelwolf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this Shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, Boom. and will remain so for the length of my days. I'm grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. That's awesome. Well, I mean, we still got positives out of this. Don't really want to cross Uba, though, because I feel like he's a, he's a monster.
brother. May your time in Valhalla be bright and glorious. Raw bringer of battle song. The boneless one sails into a singing glory on the flaming water steeds. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Like, how does Argon. he... Yeah. Cheer up, Shire, an ally. I should confer with Randry. Alright. That's it. The Book of Dragons completed. Quest King Killer completed. So we can head back. Ooh, look at all them skill points now. We can head back. Report to Ranvi. Reporting on Shrupshire. Shrupshire. I feel like he says it's Shrupshire. That's okay. I've been confused the whole time on how he says it versus how I think it should be said. But I go by what he says most of the time. Anyway, he says Shire for most things, but this is like sure. Greetings. Ranvi, we have news. We are allied with Shrupshire, but at a Shrupshire. grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Oh, yeah. Justice was done. Chilbert will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. Boom. More ravens. Now where do we pledge? That's our next task. Pledging to the next alliance. Let's take a look at anything added here. No, I don't think any of these. Uh, more scribbles of Ranvi and Avar. Hmm. Interesting. I want to talk about us. Let's see this alliance map. And then we can go forward. I want to see the alliance map. So what's left? So we have Kent or Sent down here. Suggested power 130. So that's still within ours. 250 and 190. Well, it's going to be down here. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. Nice. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned, but if he has found a paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. Well, then we pledge here. Here we go. More more time with Basim, and actual I will go with piece of the Good. Assassin's safe, Guild, the Hidden Ones. And that's going to be our next step. The Abbot's Gambit. Can't wait. All right, guys, we're going to cut this video off here. That was officially the end of the Book of Dragons. What an ending. I can't believe Ivar was actually the one who killed Chailbert. Like, that's such a betrayal, and that's why I didn't give him his axe. Like, he may have been a pretty valiant warrior, but he was psychotic. And to turn on people that you're supposed to be allying with just to get, like, your outcome, that doesn't set it for me. Maybe I'm not a true Norseman, so obviously... I don't have a real say. But when we come back, you saw we're on the path of the Abbot's Gambit. We're starting a new story arc. We'll find out what that's called in the next video. So as usual, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you guys in the next video.